Welcome back to Chaos Control with Kate Bonnie. I'm your host, Kate Bonnie, and this is my channel. Today we're going to be doing a little shopping at Walmart. I want to let you know ahead of time that I recorded this video today, but I turned off the audio because I do not want to get hit with a copyright strike because somebody in a car was playing a song as I passed by or Walmart has something playing on the radio. So the audio is being recorded separately. And today we're looking at the Walmart app and trying to decide if it is worth paying uh, the $13 a month for Walmart Plus. To me, I believe it is because I really like the scan and go feature. I can take my reusable shopping bags in, scan the items off the shelf, drop them in my bag, go to the self-checkout, scan a QR code, and leave. But today, I'm actually going to put everything into a cart and bag it at the checkout. I only do the straighten the bag thing. Oh, here we go. And I'm opening the app. Once you open the app, you're going to see store tools. Oh, I'm sorry. I did this part at home. I opened store tools just to show you what it is. Anyway. Um, if you are scanning and putting it directly into your bag, you might get stopped on the way out for a receipt check. All right. So this is just showing you the app before I left the house this morning. And now we're back on the landing page of the app and I'm going into my account. This is where you see the member benefit. I can look up my purchase history. Here we go. My savings. This is how much money I have saved using the app. There is a difference in the total because I have only been using the app for about three months. So far, you can see my membership savings. That's from sales, special discounts, things like that. And a lot of that was Black Friday and preparing my shop. And you can also see how much I've saved in free shipping. These are important. Coming back. And what am I doing? Ah, here we go. Now we're looking at all the benefits. And you've got free express. I have a free express delivery. Which I will have to claim it soon, apparently. I didn't know I had that. Early access. Black Friday, I was able to shop three hours early. Auto care. I haven't taken advantage of this one. I think I will at some point in time. Yeah, some Pete, uh, Paramount TV, Pluto TV. Oh, I do not live where I can get free delivery to the house, like from the store. We've got some travel. We've got some return it from home, where I just mail it back to them. Free shipping and the mobile scan and go. The man, mobile scan and go is our main feature. I'm just returning back, showing you. Oh, what else is on the app? Now, there's your wallet. And this is just closing out the out. It should be going back to the store soon. All right, now I'm. Here we are. Now I'm in the store. Grabbing my cart, we're going to go shopping. I was jumping back and forth between my external camera and the scan and go camera. Here we go. In store settings, view store mode. Welcome to your store, scan and go. I eventually figured out that I just uh, could use the camera in the scanner. Like I'm on an external camera now. Showing you, just going down after my first item, a power strip. And then I'm going to cut back to the app. And then I pretty much figured out that I didn't have to cut back and forth between the two video sources. I could just use my screen capture to capture the app itself. And I can view the world through the scanner. So my first item, of course, you see, I scan the power strip. You can see the total in my basket. Now I'm grabbing some dentist sticks for the puppies. Find the ones I want. Of course, the ones I want are 
almost out of stock. I gotta bend down and reach all the way to the back. Scan the barcode. It's in my cart. The, the total has updated. Click dismiss and it goes away. Doing the same thing here. Grabbing some distilled water for my knockoff Keurig. And now it's time to grab some eggs. There were a lot of people hanging around the eggs. So I had to excuse myself and walk over. Grab the first 18 pack I see. And I do believe, see, the scanner's trying to pick it up. That one had a couple cracked ones in it. And I decided I didn't like it. I'm going to put it back. When checking your eggs and choosing your eggs, make sure that you open and spin a few. Make sure they're not cracked. Spin a few. If there are any stuck, that means there might be a crack on the bottom. Pick your eggs. And there we go. Now, the barcodes that are printed on Styrofoam, sometimes they just don't want to scan correctly. I'm putting the broken, the one with the broken's back and I'm turning it sideways. That's kind of a warning to other people, hey, there's something wrong with these. So as you can see now, I'm trying to scan. This barcode was not complete. It was a little faded in spots. It was interrupted. It's a bad barcode. Sometimes you get a bad barcode and you will sit there and scan it and scan it and scan it and scan it and scan it. Guess what? It still won't take. So, this is the dozen that I want to keep. You can just scan the barcode of another item. I should be giving up on it momentarily. Oh, there we go. I gave up, so I'm just going to go grab that that dozen I had because that's a much darker, much sharper, much crisper, much better barcode. Boom. It took it. Click dismiss, move on. And we're just coming over to the dairy case. Now, as I was over here grabbing my milk, I didn't zoom in on it, but I did find several gallons. There were about six gallons in the case that were three days out of date. Today is December 1st. And that is, uh, these ex expired on November 28th. So yeah, picking a good gallon that doesn't expire for about two weeks. And it, in my cart it goes. And now, you're going to see some breaks in the video where I just, um, I'm trying to find an employee or somebody to tell them to go take care of that out-of-date milk. I need to grab some sandwich meat, and you'll notice here that the scanner is trying to scan it, zoom in on the price tags on the screen. I don't want to do that. There we go. I grab my pastrami and scan the specific barcode. And now I believe I am heading over to the bread aisle. I'm going to pick my bread, go make sure it's not soft without smushing it, checking the date, make sure it's good. On perishable items, I am religious about checking dates. Because as you can see, if I hadn't been paying attention, I would have gotten some three-day-old milk. It's so important to pay attention to the, so important to pay attention to the date. And my husband, my husband likes, um, to have breakfast burritos. So I'm going to grab a couple of breakfast burritos. Now, when you scan an item and you want a second one, you can just click add and the plus button and add your count. That way, I tend to scan separately. And now I believe I'm getting some salsa to go with my husband's breakfast burritos. Yes, off to grab salsa. Now, my husband really likes the paste medium salsa, but I saw a clearance tag for it. Apparently, my store's no longer going to carry it. Uh, I'm looking around trying to find something else he would like. He didn't want picante. He wants salsa. So, he's going to end up, oh, and I moved to something that was 
out of place back into its place. There we go. And what I want is 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 on clearance. It's not going to be here anymore. So he's just going to have to live with mild. I have his mild salsa. Boom in the cart and dismiss it. At this point in time, I realized I'd forgotten cheese while I was over on the dairy dairy aisle because I was all sitting there. Oh, here it goes. Sometimes the scanner will pick up a barcode of something in your cart. You can see it's just scanning those those tortillas over and over. I'm going to take care of that when I get my cheese. So you see the total in the cart? The total in the cart's completely wrong. I'm going to grab the shredded cheese so my husband can make his breakfast burritos. And in the cart it goes. Now, at this point in time, I've gotten everything I need. So I'm going to verify that my cart has the right things. I'm going to remove all of those extra scans. You just click remove. Remove all those extra scans on those tortillas. Big grief. And scan it like six times. And then I'm going to remove a burrito. And I'm going to make the total on that one too. And remove the last one. It's going to take a moment for the cart total to update. And show correctly. And when I get to the checkout, you will see that I've made some changes. I've actually decided that I wanted to pay for the surge protector separately. Because technically that is a business expense. So I need to pay for it separately. I took it off. And now I'm going to the register. Once at the register, I'm going to check. Make sure everything's scanned. Everything's correct. And I'm going to tap the checkout button. Confirm that I have 10 ohms. Click that box. Hit continue. And now it's giving me the instructions. I hit continue. I scan the little QR code. Boom. Then I process my payment. And now I'm going back in to the app. And I'm going to do the power strip separately. Now what the video is not showing is that um, after you complete your payment, I'm not sure why the screen capture didn't capture it, but it just kind of went goes to a black screen. That's actually showing you an exit barcode. And you can click that barcode and it will expand to your receipt, to your full receipt. If you get chalked, stopped for a bag check, that's what you show them, and they will scan it, and everything's good. So now it's time to head home. Now, to me, I do believe that uh, the Walmart Plus is worth the $13 a month that I pay for it. It is definitely worth it. Because um, you see, I've, I've saved about $1,000 in three months. A lot of that was Christmas shopping on Black Friday deals. Walmart Plus members may get to see special sales that no one else sees. And it's completely and totally wonderful. I enjoy it. I think it's worth it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks a bunch, and I will see you next time.